Analysis, research and evidence is used to inform decision making across government. Analysts work as part of multidisciplinary teams and in collaboration with other professions and functions to improve the outcomes for the public. To support this, we've created a series of bite-sized learning, introducing some useful analytical terms and concepts, which you might find useful in your role and while working with analysts. In this video, we explore the concepts mean, medium and mode. We calculate averages in data to get a picture of what the data tends to cluster. An alternative term for talking about averages is the means of central tendency. Firstly, the mean is the most popular and is sometimes referred to as the average. It is calculated by adding up every single value and then dividing by the number of observations. For example, we would firstly add all the values which equals 35. Then as there are five numbers in our list, we would divide 35 by five. This gives us the mean of seven. The mean is the most appropriately to use where the data is any type of numerical data and the data is normally distributed as in this chart. Some real life examples of normally distributed data includes birth weight of babies and height. Another measure of the central tendency is the median. This is the middle value of an ordered list. When there are even numbers of measures, the medium is the average of two different values. For the same data set we use for the mean, the first thing we need to do is put the data in order from the smallest to the highest. Then we'd find the value in the middle, which in this case is six. The medium can be used for any type of numerical data and is most appropriate when the data is skewed. That means that the values are clustered towards either end of the spectrum, as in the charts. The medium is also appropriate if the data has outliers, which means values that are extreme compared to the rest of the data set. Real life examples of skewed data include household income data in the UK, where measures tend to cluster around the lower end of the spectrum, and age at death, where the measures thankfully tend to cluster around the later decades of life. Finally, the last measure of central tendency is the mode. This is most frequently valued in the data set. It is possible to have more than one data set. Six is the only number that appears more than once in our data set, so our mode is six. The mode is most appropriate when the data is discrete. That means it can only take a certain values such as whole numbers. It is also most appropriate when the data is irregularly distributed, such as when there are two or more areas where the measures cluster. So let's look at an example. Say we want to find the average age at which a child is referred to a service. The table on the right shows the frequency of each age for the last year's referral. There were 570 referrals. The mean is calculated by adding up all the ages and divided by 570. This is 7.5 years, which falls into the seven year old age bracket. The medium is calculated by finding the middle value, but there are an even number of children. So the medium is the average of 285th and 286th of child's age. As both fall into the seven year old category, the medium is seven. Only the mode shows the fact there are two peaks at which referrals are made at six year old and 11 year old years old. The reason for this might be interesting to explore in to further and could be due to biological due to development stages, demographical due to birth rates or structural due to the system or wider system. The key point in the data has irregular distribution and so the mode tells us more than the mean or medium for this example. We hope we found this useful. If you want to find out more, take a look at the analysis YouTube channel, gov.uk, or sign up the analysis function newsletter by emailing analysis.function at ons.gov.uk.